Showtime, Sean Porter. This is Errol Spin Jr. Hey everyone, this is Jesse Vargas. And you're watching True School Sports. You're watching True School Sports. All right. And you're watching True School Sports. Stay tuned. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The untouchable True School Sports Empire in association with amateur boxing champions probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports and amateur boxing champions, viewers, and subscribers. Now, wanted to talk about another guy on Team USA. I, I, I don't even want to know, not just another guy. I would say the guy, the guy that I truly believe should be the captain of the team, the guy that I truly believe um, will break the gold medal drop for the USA. I don't, don't want to put too much pressure on him, but I, I'm just saying these things because I, I really think that highly of this young man, all right? Um, and I'm blessed, like, even though I, I don't know him, like, insanely well, I'm blessed to even know him on a, on a minor level I do because that, that, that's how much... From afar, I respect this man's ability in the boxing ring. And that's none other than uh, Las Vegas, Nevada's very own Raheem Gonzalez. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What can we say about Raheem Gonzalez? Man, first of all, let's, let's, let's just run through the credentials. Let's run through the accolades right quick. You know, uh, 2021 uh, uh, Aiba World Champion, light heavyweight, all right? Gold medalist, all right? Gold medal, 2021 Aiba World Championships out there in Belgrade, Serbia. Uh, uh, recently won the gold medal in the Continental Americas Championships, okay? Not as prestigious as the Ivory World Championships, but still uh, a major uh, international amateur tournament. Won that. You know, he is also, at this juncture in time, the number one ranked light heavyweight amateur in the entire world. Yes, that's Raheem Gonzalez. Now, Raheem Gonzalez, he's an interesting uh, person. Very interesting person. Very interesting fighter because... The culture, generally speaking, in American boxing amongst fighters is that, you know, amateurs are cool, but I want to get this amateur shit over with so I can go to the pros and, and you know, become a world champion and make some money to provide for my family and, you know, that, that type of thing. But that's not what Raheem Gonzalez is about. You know, he's not, he doesn't care about going to the pros. He's, we, we've asked him about it. He's been asked about it. He's already been offered contracts many times, but apparently none of them have been to his liking because uh, the promoters have been trying to get him on the low. And he understands that the sport of boxing is a business, and if you get locked into a bad contract, you're done. You're on the shelf. Your life is done. You're, you're a slave to the, to the sport of boxing, you know, in the industry of it. So he understands all that, and he's not willing to, to compromise who he is for uh, professional boxing. But his dream was never to be a world champion. His dream was to win the gold medal and be a USA Olympian and represent his country. He's very patriotic and he cares very much about those stars and stripes. So I might, I might, I might just call, I might start calling Raheem Gonzalez Captain America, you know, the Captain America of boxing because, uh, you know, uh, we, we had a chance to talk to him, me, Sean to tell Sean Porter. And, uh, he was telling us the stories of how he watched, of how he began to love boxing. Like he remembers watching the, uh, the gold medal match. I believe it was in the Oh four Olympics when Amir Khan, uh, boxed Mario Kindelon. I think that's who he boxed. I could be wrong, but don't quote me on that. I think it was Mirror Converse versus Mario Kindelon. He said that was one of his favorite, that was one of the fights that really got him, you know, into amateur boxing. That that that, that made him have that dream of wanting to be on that podium one day uh, with the gold medal around his neck, with the United States national anthem playing, with the, you know, you know that he wanted that moment for himself. And it's been a tough, long, hard, arduous road for him. Um, Raheem, because, you know, I know his dad, God bless his dad, uh, great guy. Uh, he told us the stories, you know, when we interviewed him in Colorado Springs about how his dad was very tough on him and, you know, he, would, he wouldn't do what his, his, what his dad would want or up to the level his dad wanted in the ring. He wouldn't perform up to the standard his dad had hoped for and his dad would say, well, you're not going to be this, you're not going to be that. And it was kind of like tough love, so to speak. And um, now you look at Raheem Gonzalez and, and, and he's literally the favorite to win the gold medal in the light heavyweight division. So uh, uh, as far as a boxer, as far as him as a fighter, fantastic fighter, uh, was built for amateur boxing, great footwork, um, you know, understands foot positioning on a, on a very deep and, under, and profound level, um, knows how to get his shots off when he gets his feet into position to hit you. Um, just a great boxer, you know. I don't like to throw the word like, I'm not trying to like kiss his ass or anything like that, but like, I, I'm just being honest. He's a very great fighter. He's a great talent. And if 
you know, in my eyes, like in my eyes, he he he's already like in a, in some sort of way a legend in my eyes, only because of how different he is from so many fighters in America. A lot of fighters in America don't care about winning the gold medal. Look at Devin Haney. Devin Haney rushed rushed into a pro career and could have won a gold medal, but decided to go pro early and fight in Mexico. Um, this guy just wants to win a gold medal for the country. So um, I'm I'm behind Raheem Gonzalez a thousand percent. And just going through like. His amateur boxing record, right? Like he's fought, he's fought some names and he's beat some names. We know, we know as boxing fans. Like for example, uh, one guy that he beat multiple times uh, is Atif Overton, the great light heavyweight prospect for PBC. Beat him about three times. Uh, he beat heavyweight Brandon Moore, who got guy who's not heavyweight now, Brandon Moore. Um, you know, he's also fought Troy Isley, lost a split decision in the, in the 2017 U.S. National Championships. Uh, he beat Nikita Abibi, White Chocolate, who we know that signed to, to, to the zone. Um, fought Gary, he lost to Gary Anton Russell and Jerron Ennis as well in, um, in the amateurs. Uh, also defeated uh, Abraham Nova, who signed with top rank. Um, beat Alexis Rocha, you know. So he's beat some good names that we know in the pros, you know. I don't know what they were like as amateurs, but we know those names in the pros. We know that Raheem has gotten better since some of those losses, and he's gone on to become the best fighter in his whole weight class. And um, this is the, this is this is personal to him. I mean, he he had a very great Instagram post where pretty much like, and I was I was feeling what he was saying like on, on on Instagram. He was pretty much saying like, this could be it for him. This could be the last we see of Raheem Gonzalez. So I want the world to know who Raheem Gonzalez is because um. What a what a what a great fighter! What a, what an exceptional person, a great fighter. But like you know, um, he said that he just wants to win that gold medal, and he's number one in the world now. And that you know, he's had people telling him to quit boxing and go get a real job and, and things like that because sometimes things weren't going his, going his way early on in, the, in his amateur career, you know. But but now the tables have turned, and Raheem is expected to do great things, and I think he will do great things because I think Raheem I think Raheem Gonzalez was built for amateur boxing. Like if, when God was creating. When God was creating people in the womb, I, I truly believe that he created Raheem Gonzalez to, to be an all-time great, world-class, creme de la creme, top-shelf amateur. And if I had to bet my life on a uh, a fighter on the USA um, team, boxing team, the next Olympic team, winning the gold medal for our country, I would have to put, put my, my hope in the hands of Raheem Gonzalez, that he would that we would spare my life, win the gold medal, because uh, that's 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 just how good I think he is. I, I think you know, great jab, great speed, amazing ability to offset the rhythm of, of, of his opponents. Um, very rhythmic fighter, just just one of the smartest fighters in boxing, professional, amateur, male, female. Uh, Raheem Gonzalez is him, you know, and um, that's just my that's my little take on Raheem Gonzalez, a guy that we could be talking about as a as a modern day great in boxing, and in my in some cases, you know, he's halfway there in my eyes to being a modern day great. He just has to win that gold medal because then you look at, you know, you know, Continental America's world champion, Aiba world champion, Olympic gold medalist. I mean, that's the that's the holy trinity. That's the that's the trifecta of uh, accomplishments in the in the amateur ranks. So uh, yeah, Raheem Gonzalez, Las Vegas, Nevada's very home. Let me know what you guys think about him in the comments down below. If you got anything to add about Raheem Gonzalez, leave it down below. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. And I think uh, True School Sports, he's the truth. One of the best YouTube, the best. Ooh, the, the number one. Number one. Brandon, you've been there, man, and you're building up a good following Thank with you. us. Thank you. And I'm proud to be a part of what you're doing, too. Mm -hmm. You are spectacular and... Uh, Thank you, man. All the best to through school boxing and keep up the good work.